Zero Hour Training Episode 2 The Role of the Hippocampus, Amygdala, and the Prefrontal Cortex In the last episode, we talked about leaving things in one or two spots. And in this past week, I discovered why that was so important. Our brain has several components, but there are three that I want to focus on. The prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. The hippocampus has several roles, and one of them is spatial memory. It's concerned with quickly recalling where things are in space. In particular, it's focused on things that don't move. For example, a source of water, the bathroom, or even the front door. The prefrontal cortex is concerned with many things, one of which is to make decisions. And the amygdala deals with emotional responses, among other things. In a stressful situation, the amygdala sends out a signal to bypass the operations of the prefrontal cortex. In other words, you start having trouble with decision making and reasoning. However, the hippocampus will chime in with its quick recall of spatial information to help you find where the important unmoving things are. But if what you're looking for has moved around, since you can't use your prefrontal cortex to reason out where it was last, and because your hippocampus can't recall its last location, you'll be hard pressed to find it in an emergency. So in my case, when I was having trouble finding my reflector belt, my prefrontal cortex, which normally helps me with reasoning and determining where that item was left, it started getting suppressed by the amygdala and my hippocampus started chiming in with it's on the bed or it's on the table and when it wasn't there I panicked further but when you leave something in one place all the time in a stressful situation when your decision making gets cut out from under you your hippocampus will help you recall where that item should be and you'll be able to find it in the description below are excellent videos by Ted on this phenomena but for now, why not try out the following? In your home, designate a spot for certain items in the house. Make sure everyone knows where to find these items. Keep your car keys in one spot. Same with your first aid kit. Same with the fire extinguisher. In an emergency, such as a fire or flood, when your heart rate skyrockets and your prefrontal cortex is shutting down, you and your whole family will know where to go to get your essentials because your hippocampus will direct you to the right spot. Here's one more recommendation. Keep your house phones where they normally should be found. I know I sometimes pick up my house phone and leave it in some random room. But if I constantly put my house phone back where it belongs, and if someone were to break into my house, or if a loved one were to collapse and I needed to dial 911, though my prefrontal cortex wouldn't be able to help me find where my phone is, my hippocampus would direct me to the last spot that it should be in. And because I constantly left my stuff where it belongs, it'll actually be there, and it'll be there to save my life. So try that out. Tell me how that goes. Maybe you have a good strategy to share with others. If so, consider leaving a comment below. And as always, stay in Condition Yellow. To find out more, visit our site at zerohour.training.